Nice to meet you. So tell me about yourself. Well, to be honest, I got out of prison a few months ago, and my therapist thought it'd be a good idea if I adopted a dog to help Whoa, friends. whoa, whoa. You adopted a dog? I also have a dog. His name's Oliver, and we love Oh, shoot. Is that your dog? I want a family one day. I don't think my wife should have access to any of our bank accounts. Like, all women are so bad with money. If she needs anything for the kids or dogs, she needs to ask me first. Wait, do you say dogs? Like, plural. Oh, of course. <sighs> Sounds amazing. Yeah. Let's do this again sometime. Yeah, we could do a play date with the dogs. My dog is with my girlfriend right now. I'm actually visiting family. But we could do it next week. I would love that. Ah. Bye, next <laughs> Well, there you go. What's going on, party people? What is going on? It's your ride share extraordinaire. Your super duper Uber drivers here, guys. That's right. That's right. Thank you. Far too kind. You guys already know the deal. Before you hop in my ride, do me a quick favor. Hit the like. Hit that subscribe. Por favor. <laughs> Come on. Let's do this. Hop on in. Buckle in and let's go. Yay! Okay, okay, party people, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, thank you for hitting that subscribe button. What are we talking about today, folks? What are we talking about today? Well, the other day, the Nevada primaries went through and Nikki Hillary, she came, she saw, and she came in last. Now, now she had no competition. Or no, no, she did have some competition. She had no, hell no, and Nikki Hillary. And Nikki Hillary came in dead last. What? Unbelievable. She had no competition, no big names on there, just her and the two other options. And she came a distant third. Really? Without Trump's name even on the ballot, still loses to the none option by better than two to one. So that's that is a tough reality for her. But no, 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 no. You think she'll give up? No, 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 no. Because Carl Rove and Chris Christie, Jeb Bush, they all gassing her head up and saying you got a chance. Hang in there, hang in there till South Carolina, your home state. And after your home state, and you win your home state, you might get a chance and beat Donald Trump. Nikki, Hillary, listen, if you have any ounce of dignity left, do yourself a favor and bow out. Yeah, not, Trump isn't even on the ballot and she loses and it's a closed primary. So it really reinforces yeah. what we've been seeing that when you're just talking about Republican voters, she's really she's really getting clobbered with Republican voters. It's and, independents and Democrats and, that keep her in it. OK, because the longer you stay. Your political capital is going lower and lower and lower. Well, shit, I don't know what else you got. You know, you was an ambassador before. You was a governor before. You done hit the ceiling. What else you got? Oh, wait, you are on the board of Boeing. Right? Ever since you've been on the board of Boeing, what's going on with Boeing? They got planes falling out of the skies. They got doors ripping open. I'm not going to say nothing, you know. It's a weird winky dinky that ever since you've been on Boeing board, things been happening to Boeing. So now imagine if you were in charge of this great country here. No, thank you. But anyway, she's still on there. She's hanging in there. She refused to lose. She will not leave. Whoever's funding her, I forget the lady's name, but there's a lady that's funding uh, um, Nikki Hillary. Is the same person that funded E. Jean Carroll, crazy ass, in that lawsuit. They're all here just to embarrass Trump. They want to drag Trump out. They're like little gnats. This is, this, 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 this is all in their face, and Trump is swatting them away. Get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here. All right, but she's still here it to win it, I guess. Whatever, Nikki. But stay in there. You're making me enough content to last me for another month or so. All right, so... I need the views. So thank you, hit Nikki Halery. <laughs> what else we got today? There's a clip of some black folks are pleading with the Republican Party. They want to sit down at a table and have a dialogue. Let's take a listen. 
meet with the Republican Party. If Trump want to come to town, come and meet with us. Trump Come have a meet with us, Trump. Trump 2024. We are not going to stand by, stand idly by, while you starve our community. These are our children, and they will not be targeted while you take and make a better life for a new that just walked into this country yesterday. Nine thousand dollars a month for these people. You know how hard it is. A thousand to fifteen hundred dollars for every child, every illegal immigrant child that goes into Chicago public schools. You give them money for uniforms and computers and all these things. We're not going to stand down, and we ask that the Republican Party come and sit down and have a meet with us. <laughs> wow. You people just don't get it. It's too late, folks. You see those two old elders in the background? It's their fault, too. They've been voting Democrat ever since they came out the womb. Okay? And now... Now they see a problem and now they want to sit there with Republicans and have a dialogue. And let's talk about this. It's too late. Nobody want to talk to y'all. You thick headed. You can't even talk to you. You can't even stand up to your mama. Okay. Your mama made you vote Democrat. You can't stand up to her. And now, now that we have all these illegals running amok, they're taking your jobs. They're taking your health care. They, they taking your EBT cards your prepaid money, they're taking all that. And now, now you want to have a talk with the Republican Party. Get the f*** out of here. We've been trying to tell you this way before Obama. Obama's kind of the one that got this ball rolling with the immigrants. We had immigrant problems before, but when Obama came in, it was just like flowing through. Boom, 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 boom. Tea Party came out. Tea Party said, man, stop the border. Wow. Nah, you're a xenophobe. You're a racist. Okay. You shot down a Tea Party. And now we're here. Trump comes in. Trump want to build a border. Trump want to build a wall on the border, and y'all shot him down. He went to the Congress and asked for $5 billion, five measly billion dollars to finish the wall. Nancy Pelosi said, we ain't got no money for the wall. Kick rocks. You might be more likely to have a CR until all seven bills until the end of September. But again, that changes. It goes back and forth. Uh, so right now, we, he, Chuck and I are not in a negotiation of, oh, we're, we're not going for the $5 billion for the wall. We simply are not. Okay. Yes. But now, now that you see the problem, now you see the barbarian is at the door. No, the barbarian's inside the house right now. It's smashing and breaking everything. Now you want to have a sit down with Republican Party. For what? For what? You're not going to vote Republican. We don't want to hear it. It's too late. You know what I'm saying? It is too late. You want to call Ice Cube a sellout now? Trump got 12% of the black vote in 2016. He got 16% of the black vote in 2020. They're projecting he's going to get more than 20% of the black vote in this upcoming election. That's what they're saying. And who's to say black folks would be wrong to vote for him? If 2024, when Trump wins, if we don't have at least 25% of the black votes that went to Republican that voted for Trump, it's over. Don't even, don't even, it's, it's over. Just kiss your butt goodbye. Okay. If you don't get at least 25, 30% of the black votes, the tipping point, if you don't get that, we don't want to hear nothing else about, you know, what the uh, immigration situation is going to look out for you. Because right now, they have counting over 30 million immigrants, not just Hispanics. Asia major what? and Asia minor is also in here, too. And they, <laughs> they're just buying it up. They're taking the resources. They're filling up the hospitals. They're, they're getting $53 million uh, uh, prepaid cards in New York City. Dude, it's too late. It's too late. Now you want to come and talk to these racists? Now you want to come talk to racist Republicans about the racist, <laughs> the La Raza folks. Are you stupid? It's funny. Now you want to come talk to the so-called racist folks. Three 
necesitamos de su ayuda, necesitamos ayuda para los niños en el tema de la salud. Hay muchos niños enfermos, hay mucha basura, hay mucha agua podrida en el refugio. Estamos mal, por eso estamos aquí ahora, dándole la cara a usted, señor alcalde, pidiéndole de su ayuda, de verdad, porque la necesitamos como personas, como seres humanos, como migrantes de Venezuela. Gracias. <laughs> It's too late. There's an old saying that when the white people catch a cold, black folks catch a flu. The white folks going to be okay with this immigration. They're going to they gonna adjust because, again, they're still in power. But you black folks who, who uh, you know, who believe that the brown folks are your friends, the people of color are one, no, no. You're going to be the bottom of the, te of the totem pole. And now we're here trying to fix it, but it's too late. I don't even think Donald Trump could fix it. But shit, the hell do I know? I'm just a driver. You guys get any value out of my content, do me a quick favor. Hit the like button. Hit that subscribe button. See that notification bell? Turn on that notification bell so you get my latest and greatest. Share this content with your best friends and tell your mama I said hi. All right, all right. Till next time, I'll see you again. And all to you knuckleheads, get off my lawn.